Ooh, he's a wet one. Wednesday, and it's a Wednesday, and I'm in the shed, and um, yeah, I've got a few beers, went around to um, Luke from Wagon Brewing's uh, house last night and picked up um, half a dozen beers, um, and there for a little stout comp that I talked about a little while ago, um, yeah, so uh, I'll probably do a little bit of a video, I'm sure some of the guys will promo that, anyway, tonight, I haven't got one of my own beers, um, this is the first time ever, it's not a Yakima Monster, how cool is that artwork? It is in fact the hoppiest blonde blonde ale, 5.6%, Mochweka and Nelson Sovin from the mighty Sean at Megaton Brewing. Um, I don't know if you've subscribed to him, but um, give it a go. He's putting out more and more videos. And um, from all accounts, I've been watching him for a long time actually. Um, but yeah, from all accounts, he's putting out a few more videos. And um, he's a decent brewer, or so I've heard. Mmm, that's kind of almost perfumey. Wow. So I'm not sure what yeast he fermented that with. Um, she's pouring it really clear. Um, I don't think it's Belgian or anything, but look at that carb. Mate, that looks the business. Yeah, it's got like a um, sweet, I don't know, I, I'd almost just, i just call it like a floral. Um, it's quite a different aroma. Um, I think I definitely get the Sovin. Um, having had a few of those um, Tuatara Nelson Sovins, I think I'm pretty, pretty accustomed to that hop. Anyway, let's dive in. Damn, that's good. Damn. It's super juicy. I don't know whether he... I think he's used a Belgian yeast. But I've said that before and been completely wrong. Um, because the carbonation's put me crook. But, um... Shit, that's a good beer. Um, yeah, man. It's real good. I knew nothing about Sean's beers, um, never had one until now. I've seen him review a couple of his beers, but that is a cracker, dude. Um, I'm going to enjoy that, and I might even share it with the missus. Um, speaking of the missus, what a good missus I've got. She, um, I nearly ran out of CO2, so I thought I'd be proactive, and she went all the way into town. She does work in town. And um, got me a brand new CO2 bottle filled up, which is really cool, so um, hopefully... No leaks, um, I should be good to go on CO2 for a little while. That last 5 kilo bottle lasts me well over 6 months. Um, so yeah, at $25 to fill one of those big soda stream bottles, I think it's definitely um, worth my while. Anyway, um, I brewed up an ESB, an extra special bitter in the weekend. Um, I'm not going to go into a kind of a rant about my um, local homebrew shop, but, but one of them in the area, there's several. Um, went in there, thought, oh, you know, I'll just go get a five kilo bag of, um, unmilled, kind of Gladfields English Ale malt. Wouldn't serve it. Wouldn't sell any malt on a Saturday. Um, the shop wasn't that busy. I didn't want it milled. I just want it weighed out, put in the bag, and a price sticker put on it. Couldn't do it. So, um, yeah, a little bit pussy about that. So I ended up having to use, um, what I did have in stock in bulk, which was, um, American Ale malt, and I ended up adding, um, a few kind of biscuity things to see if I could sort of sub it sub it up to the, um, I don't know, something Englishy, because I've had plenty of um, Fuller's ESB over the East Everyone every Monday night at the Cricketers Arms Quiz in Surrey. It was great. You know, what else? Um, yeah, I um, I messaged Stas and said, are you brewing this weekend? And I found out he was having um, a bit of a Google Hangout, so it was the first time I'd ever done that, so I caught up with um, Stas, had a good chat to him, and John and Jared, and... Um, yeah, they sound like bloody interesting dudes. Um, I don't know if they got any video content, but um, 
Yeah, cool dudes, and um, just really good to chat to Stas. He's just like he is in the videos. Yeah, you don't have to wait a week to um, kind of correspond with someone. It's quite instantaneous when they're on the other end of the line. So that was cool. And um, what else? I've got it all written down here on the drip tray. Um, yeah, I've got the t-shirts. Um, those have been sent off to the printers. I'm expecting to maybe get them back kind of early next week. Just went for the old classic black with a white print, a bit like my Flying Nun t-shirt. Great New Zealand record label. Um, yeah, t-shirts, and um, a few guys will be getting those. I'll draw a t-shirt from the people that commented on the t-shirt video. And I'll draw one of those guys out. And of course, I've got a few spares, so we'll see how we go. And um, end up probably costing me about 30 bucks per t-shirt, but um, now that I've set up the screen, I can get um, a few more done at a cheaper price, so um, if it turns out alright, I might get some others done with a different coloured print. Still on black though, because I am a Westie. Anyway, um, that's pretty much me. I've dried out since the rain, and you'll see a bit of that in the video. If you can hear me, that's good, because that rain was just ridiculous. But my tanks are full. I've got plenty more water for Pilsners and bits and pieces. And i um, got a supercharger video coming up probably... Maybe next week, we'll see how we go. But, um, back to this beer. Can't fault it, mate. Um, sounds cliche, but if I was to get that on the tap, um, I'd be bloody happy with it. It's got some really nice um, residual sweetness. Um, it's not dry, you know what I mean? It, um, it's exactly what you want. Um, doesn't dry the palate out, slightly kind of spicy, it's got that delicious floral aroma, perfect carbonation, um, dude, I've got one more beer, um, from you, and then of course of, um, yeah, that's part of the Oats comp, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Cheers, Sean from Megaton Brewing, cheers you guys, here's some, um, extra special bitter footage, and, um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Stay safe and, um, I don't know, I haven't got any cool outro. Just watch the clips. Cheers, guys. Just a little prep the night before. First time I've used Flake Maze. So, um, there's only 100 grams in that. And this is the ESB clone. And, um, there's a couple of conflicting recipes. I've got one from Tube Dino's. Another one I found online. Pretty much 4.25 kilos of Ale malt, 100 of flaked maize, there's about 450 of crystal and 50 of roast barley. And a little bit of acid malt, because I always add acid malt. So just making a bit of a yeast starter, um, should have done this the day before, but you know, should happen. So um, yeah, WLP002, English ale yeast, and um, we'll put that on the slightly shonky DIY stir plate. So. Um, we'll give that a run for about 24 hours, it's roughly a litre, and I'm um, just using that 10 gram per, what is it, 100 millilitres, so um, yeah, it's about um, 90 odd grams there of unhopped DME. It's time for the water additions, and got all sorts in there, including a bit of chalk, which um, apparently needs the mash to help dissolve it. So just that mash out. Um, the kind of the colour is actually quite nice, kind of that copper colour. Um, I'm going to add 100 grams of acid malt just to drop the um, pH down to, it's at 5.4, so we'll get it down to 5.3 or so. Um, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of Shepherd's Delight, which will give it a little bit more red, may as well. Hopefully that'll be boiling by the time um, I've transferred that um, sparge water across so yeah then we can get on with the hops I'm gonna do a 90 minute boil I think um, supposedly get a bit of caramelization I don't know but um, we'll give it a go man these smell good and goes our bittering hops there's 25 grams all up 10 and 15 of challenger and target oh she's wet out there don't know if you can hear this but um, in goes our 15 minute edition. 
along with some Irish moss and yeast nutrients. In five minutes, um, IBUs were all wrong according to the recipe, so um, I've added 20 each of Goldings and Northdown. Just for five minutes. Well, Mr. Stas, I'm doing the whole counterfeit chiller thing, chooching it through. I am not worried about wasting water today. Um, straight from my water tank. My water tank's overflowing anyway, the two tanks I've got. And um, straight out on the driveway. So uh, rapid chilling, no pissing around with the whirlpool. Happy days on the chill. What a mess. Anyway, um, I'm just filling up two three gal fermenters. Obviously not up to the three gallon mark. Um, but yeah, seemed pretty good. I ended up with uh, 13 and a half bricks, which is about where I wanted to be because I dialed it down a bit. Um, I didn't want a horrendously big beer, so I'm hoping for about um, five and a half percent. And uh, she's draining nicely, and all the crap has dropped out of it. Nice color too, a little bit of red. So we've got just over 20 litres of my interpretation of an ESB, full as ESB. Um, I've kept that pretty similar. Um, adjusted the hops and put in some sort of late, late additions um, just to get a bit of reference as to what those hops actually taste like. And um, yeah, we get got the supercharger, just a um, little bit of bubbles there. And um, yeah, got that thermo well in there, which I'll stick my STC probe in there and get a bit of an accurate temperature. I'm going to ferment this a little bit um, higher than normal. I'm going to start at 19 and then probably ramp it up to about 20, 21 to get a bit of fruit off that WLP002. So that WLP002 is taken off. That's um, about 12 hours afterwards. I've got airlock activity within about um, 4. And um, yeah, she's happy. And all those little bits and pieces of dancing. Mm -hmm.